Welcome back, YouTubers, to episode two of my Let's Play of Seven Days to Die with Running Zombies. We are now near the prefab, and I'll be trying to sneak in and take over one of these little homes, hopefully. And we'll use that as our first base, I think. Okay, that one's chasing a pig. Let's just kill all these zombies around here. Oh, there's the piggy, it's dying in the distance. I'll not be trying to... Ooh, a bookstore! No, isn't that wonderful? That bookstore will come in useful, I think. But first, we gotta clear out some of these zombies. Perfect. Alright, this is where we go. Now, should I sneak in there already or not? It's a good question. Can certainly get in somehow. I think through the window. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, actually let's let's kill this zombie too. Maybe that other one will finish the job for us. Definitely want to kill the zombies nearby because they will start chasing us once that one sees us. And that's not cool. But I am very excited that we get the. Oh, there he is. There's more. I hear more zombies around. They're coming from everywhere as usual. Kinda of paranoid actually. Keep hearing zombies everywhere. Oh, oh, there's that guy. I actually like that building. I'm glad he's opening a door for us. And they opened this door for us, now we don't have to get in. Oh nice. Zombies can be pretty useful sometimes. Oh wow, there's another one. Ah, uh, okay. No more hip shots. But apparently I can't aim at all anyway, so... Oh wow, we're hungry too. That's probably why I'm... Aiming so awful. Awfully? Horribly? Whatever. So far, so good. We haven't been hit yet by a zombie. Knock on wood. Oh, we're definitely gonna. Can we kick this? Are we... Oh, we're out of space. Let's just this. Get some scrap brass. We're going to need the paper. Take these. Is that another zombie inside? Just kind of walk and see. I don't see anything. Alright, let's just put that, uh, that cinder block over here. Should block it up. Alright. 
This should definitely have a forge book, which is really important to get, actually. Without a forge book, it's a very unpleasant time in this mode. It's not easy to find it. Hmm. Let's just read this book. I'm gonna be reading everything for a while now, anyway. There we go. I got us a forge book. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a lot of stuff in here. Stuff we don't necessarily need right now. Uh, pine seed. We don't need the pine seed at all. All right. Now let's get some more of these books. And then we can get them all together. Let's throw one by one. More forge books. Alright. Man, this is a lot of books. It really makes you think, what do they need all these books for? One bookstore and you literally have them all. Sounds close. Really close. Too close. Too close for comfort. I do need that melee weapon. I was gonna make it but never did. And I hear these zombies literally like on the other side of the bookshelf in my ear being really scary I don't like it I'm gonna have to kill them as soon as I looted all these books gotta loot all the books oh there's a schematic there schematics are extra useful be able to burn that. Beverage. Cooler, of course. Empty. No beer. Beer is really useful, but we'll be able to have coffee soon, which is good. Maybe we won't need the beer. Alright, there's some fuel for the fire. Okay. Should do the trick. Alright, let's, let's, let's now uh, use some of these books. Read all of them. Alright, we got that. Got that. Three. Got it. Alright. Ammunition? Nope. Iron leg schematic. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Forge your head. Already did that. Urban combat. Reloading weekly. Already got it. Leather tanning. Pick up all this stuff again. Get all these couches, maybe. Pick up all these right here. Oh, I can't. Guess we can't. Alright, now let's get our crossbow out. And get out of here. Let's see. We don't need the pine seeds. Uh, there he is. 
How'd you get up there? You must have fallen, I guess, from the roof. Must, must have. Hey, where'd you go? I'm definitely gonna have to watch that video and see where he went. Alright. Our new home over here. What's this? What is that? Ah, more beer. Excellent. Well. Alright. Not much in here. But these shelves are a great source of uh, iron. So, we'll probably be using those for that. Uh, let's put these cinder blocks in here. And more books. Huh, look at that. More forged book. We really don't need that much forged books. One is plenty. But one is really critical. Without that one forge book, you're not getting very far in this game, let me tell you. Can't make almost anything. Anything you need iron for, you can forget about. Any kind of ammunition, you can forget about. Oh, let's fill up some of this water. From the toilet. Yeah, it's probably not optimal, but oh well. Let's see. Get in here. Uh, more feathers. Uh, I guess we can wear a red tank top. Got nothing else. Although hopefully we'll be able to make some stuff soon. Alright, let's, as a start, set up a base over here. Put a few things in here. Maybe the burning materials. And that food which is making us smell maybe the paper we don't need and the eggs and there should be a pipe in here there we go perfect that's exactly what we need all right and i think it's time to make a chest or maybe even two chests. And we're gonna put them over here for now. This will be a good spot. Next to the garbage. Alright. Now let's make a campfire. Okay. And a forge. That critical, critical forge. Alright, the fire will be over here. Right there. And the forge will be right here. Alright. And to make it a little bit safer, oh, I don't remember where this went. Here? Yes, wooden hatch. Wooden hatch and some doors. How do we put this? Like this? No, not like that. Like this. Perfect. It's upgraded. Great. Now we should be a little bit safer behind here. In case the zombies decide to come get us. Can move some of this stuff. Oh. I guess I'll be doing a little bit of inventory management um, after this video is done. Which is right about now actually. So, well, we're set up pretty well. It's only 1 o'clock, and we have a shelter and a forge book 
and a perfect little prefab that we can use as our base of operations for the first couple of days. All right, well, that's it for episode two, and I'll see you guys in episode three. Take care.